Monday. This is episode 38. We're coming up on 40 episodes. This is week nine. I'm so happy you're here. Chatters jump on. Aaron is behind the wheel and we're always happy to talk with you and hear what you got going on. We hope you had a great weekend. I really do hope that you are staying safe. Six feet apart. A lot of things started to open up this weekend and I've been reading stories about people shoulder to shoulder with no masks on. I am of the belief that you should wear a mask and stay six feet away still. But I don't know what your belief is. So I want you to stay safe and stay healthy. Um, I'm happy that you're here. This is Motivation Monday. We're going to be singing Small Town. That's a request that we've had for a while. It's from my CD, Pop the Star, produced by Don Dixon, played beautifully uh, by Tim Longfellow and Jeff Harmon. Um, so it's going to be lots of fun to do that song and thank you for the request. Okay, um, you know what? I didn't even think about toilet paper, but we there it is and we are well stocked. Our girls Alexa and Siri are here today. I'm gonna ask them a few questions. It's gonna be good, I think. <laughs> there are certain things they do and don't wanna talk about or don't understand. So it's gonna be good. Um, hey, I want to um, remind you that if you have been watching this broadcast, will you please, look down at your screen and see the red subscribe button and push subscribe. It's, it's sometimes, um, I am surprised that you've been watching some of you and aren't subscribed to this channel. Please subscribe because we still have a goal of a thousand. That way we can go remote. And I'd really like to be able to get more creative and go remote on this show with you. Uh, so that's why we want to get to a thousand. Also, it, it could be a stream of income for me. So if you see me drinking, something like from this mug and there was a logo on this for a business, I could um, promote that. And that's a good thing for singer-songwriters. It's something that we can do to generate income, DIY artists. So listen, look down at your screen and push the subscribe button and please encourage your friends uh, and family to do the same if you think they might enjoy this show. We want to get to a thousand. I think we're at 600 something now, which is amazing because when we started this, I think we were at a hundred something. So thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Marge. Woo! I'll sip everybody. Good morning or good afternoon. Whatever. North North Carolina's here? Yeah! Good afternoon, North Carolina. You're Eastern. All right. Dot's Beautiful. Having a Dot's having a lunch break. Dot in Cleveland. East side of Cleveland's having a lunch break. Hi, Dot. It's always good to see that you're here when you're here. All right. So shout outs. I want to shout out to Barb B, uh, um, who sent me, not Barb B, Barb R, who sent me a beautiful card, which if you zoom in and uh, a check for the live stream concert. Barb, thank you so much. And thank you for your beautiful words inside that card. Also to my friend Jackie, who sent us a bunch of DVDs, books, and also a check to go toward live stream. Uh, a big check's going out to the church today and some checks to my musicians. And I'm so grateful for your support of love stream. So shout out to Jackie and Barb. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your sweet words. I love them and uh, appreciate it. All right. Um, also, I want to do a shout out because last night, Aaron and I watched a Netflix movie called A Secret Love. And it was awesome and I'm just gonna go out on a limb and talk about it and make maybe some of you uncomfortable but it's all okay let's um so a shout out to Chris Boland Alexa L Fogel and Brendan Mason who made this documentary and I'm gonna ask the gals if they know what it's about Alexa 
What is the documentary A Secret Love? This might answer your question. A Secret Love is a 2020 documentary film starring Terry Donahue and Pat Henschel. Falling in love in 1947, two women, Pat Henschel and pro baseball player Terry Donahue, begin a 65-year journey of love and overcoming prejudice. The film is 1 hour and 21 minutes long. The movie has a rating of 8.1 out of 10 on IMDb based on around 1,700 votes and is rated TV MA. Okay, I don't know what MA is. Maybe somebody on chat can tell me. But that is the story of these two women that fell in love in 1946. It's so good. And her family, their family's reaction, they kept it a secret until they were like in their 80s. Um, and they were very protective of one another. And like lots of their friends got thrown in jail. I want to say one thing that I learned from it, and that is, and then we're going to get to Siri, but I want to tell you that if... Uh, Gay bar was raided back in the day in Chicago where they lived when Daly was mayor. They would raid bars, and if the women had on zip fly pants, they were thrown in jail. Uh, <laughs> for all it implied. Person, yes. And um, so anyway, it's a really great, great documentary, and it covers a lot of territory and probably a lot of questions that a lot of people have. But, uh, okay, let's ask Siri what she knows. Somebody's coming in. What, Erin? Well, the M.A. means mature audience. Dot oh, and Jerry both choice. The M.A., Jerry and Dot, just let us know, means mature, mature Eve. Ugh. Can you hear her? Yeah. <laughs> they can hear her? <laughs> okay, so M.A. means mature audience. It's probably, I guess it's a good idea. It's not that whatever. Okay, <clears throat> let's ask Siri. Siri, what is the Netflix documentary A Secret Love about? Oh my gosh, she's not talking to me. She's like, unlock your phone. Okay, here we go. Siri, what is the documentary on Netflix A Secret Love about? Okay, oh, okay, so Siri just took me to Netflix. She works for Netflix, clearly. But you know what? Right there, there's the movie, and here they are. They're so, oh God, they're so cute. They are snazzy women that worked in the Hancock building at a, um, at a business there. I can't remember what they did, but they were in the office, and they were super professional, and they dressed beautifully. A secret love. Let it be a secret no more, people. That's my shout out for today. Now I'm going to get to the song, Small Town. Um, so I wrote this song when, after I went to Gettysburg for the first time. And I, before we left, I looked it up. This was years ago. I looked up a Gettysburg and this, it told me about this historical trail that you could take into Gettysburg. So I was like, oh, I'm taking that trail. It's going to be awesome. It's going to have all kinds of stuff about Gettysburg. I didn't know what, I guess I expected like the road to look as it did during the Civil War. Um, you know, I thought it was, I was going to go back in time. But as we drove along, it was just like there weren't like any sort of like monuments that you might expect or uh, stuff. It was just like small town after small town and rusty cars in the front yard in places close out on the line and I was sort of um nonplussed I guess you would call it because I I really expected something different but it was just all these small towns and it occurred to me wow this is sort of frozen in time you know um not the time period I thought but so I came from a small I grew up in a small town um it was kind of rural when I was growing up anyway we were driving through and I came home and wrote this song about what I imagined about that song the those places that I saw and about what I knew because I grew up in a small place um and one of the things that I talk about in it is Miss Parker with her Christmas lights in the middle of July she didn't have the heart to kiss the holidays goodbye there's a whole story there I could probably write another song and I probably should and I'll call it Miss Parker I'll get to work but um there so Christmas lights were another thing that we saw, you know, like just left up. Some people just leave them up all year long because all you got to do is plug them in again. <laughs> um, 
and um, there's something though that occurred to me this past winter. We were driving around Canada, very rural where we hang out there, and um, we were looking at Christmas lights, and it occurred to me that I really love to see the Christmas lights in a small town, and I figured out why, and that is because in those lights and that decor, I see can see the humanity because it's not all perfect. You can look at like this plastic Santa Claus in the yard, and then maybe the next door would be a nativity scene. But you look at like say an old plastic Santa, and you know those people that has been passed down from generation to generation. And no, not all the lights are perfect. And I love it because that's humanity. I don't want it to be coming queen at the diner or in Joe. I'm singer-songwriter Annie Deshant. Stay safe. You are not alone. We are all connected. And I will see you on Wednesday for the love stream.